You know what time it is, boys and girls, that you don't like? It's time for an exciting sermon from Super Sermon Day, man! I'm the nearest birds playing to Super Sermon Day, man. Everybody, Super Sermon Day, man, to preach you a sermon entitled A Mouthful of Filth. This is David Stanton's sermons, my sermons that God gives me as I write them down. So if you want to know what a mouthful of filth is, stay tuned. And I'm going to show you how you can get rid of that filth that's in your mouth that tries to come out. I know it sounds gross, but stay tuned. You'll see what I'm really talking about. A lot of us struggle with this. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Did you know as you eat, you get food stuck in between your teeth? If you don't floss to get it out, then microscopic bacteria feed upon it, and the poop is the and and then poop in your mouth. That's I know it's really gross, but stay tuned. I won't gross you out too long. <laughs> Think um, that causes you bad breath. I know gross, right? Right, it's gross. The, they can even affect your teeth and gum health. Well, let me tell you another story of a mouthful of filth. I'm gonna tell you what the real filth is. Poop in your mouth that come that can come out. Now I'm not talking about literal feces, so I'm not trying to gross you out here. But uh, some of these words and stuff that come in our mouth can gross people out. So, <laughs> um, so come, so it's called uh, so come the poop in your mouth that comes out. So um, it's called cursing or cussing. Have you ever heard the expression he or she cusses or curses like a sailor? I have. Some people do. I used to. I did. I used to. And I struggle with, I've struggled with it before. Um, this is to help me too and you. Um, I'm going to tell you what the Bible says about cursing and foul language, etc. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29, it says, verse 29, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. So we should only say things to build up and edify and give grace to people. I even think we should put away a forward and perverse lips. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 24. So you mean so you may have poop cussing words in your mouth, but don't say them. Um, cast down those those thoughts, those vain imaginations before they become words in Jesus name, which is in, you can find that in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5. Um, Colossians chapter 3 verse 8 says, verse 8, But now you are also put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. So get rid of all that in Jesus' name. I know we all slip sometimes. Well, a lot of us do. Sometimes we um, hurt ourselves or step, 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 step our toe or something. You know, or, or, and, we, and we hurt ourselves and, we, and a cuss word comes out. Yeah. I've done it before. I guilty had to repent. Jesus name. Um, so um, it may come out when we get angry. Um, let the Lord rescue you out of the temptation uh, that, um, and He will make a way for you to, to of escape for you to bear it. Um, um, in First Corinthians chapter ten, verse thirteen, Matthew chapter five, verse thirty-seven says, verse thirty-seven. But let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. So that's true. We really got to watch, um, watch out, watch our words and choose them carefully. You can either imprison someone or set them free um, with your words. You can, um, you can, uh, you can bless people, and you can also curse them while you are blessing God, which is shouldn't be. Um, this should, should, should not be. James chapter 3, verse 6, and then um, verse 8 through 13 says, verse 6, And the tongue, a fire, a world of iniquity, so is the tongue among our members that, um, is, is, um, that defileth the whole body and setteth on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. Verse 8, But the tongue can no, more, no man tame, it is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Verse 9. Therefore bless we God, even the Father, and therewith, therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Verse 10. Out of the same mouth proceed blessings and cursing. My brother, and these things ought not so to be. We shouldn't do those things. When we bless God, we shouldn't cuss people. We shouldn't curse them. We should bless them. I know it's hard sometimes. God can help you. Um, so doth um, so um, doth a fountain send forth at the, or verse eleven? 
Um, so, um, doth a fountain send forth as the same place sweet, water, and bitter? Verse 12, can the fig tree, my brethren, bear all the berries, either a vine, fi a vine, figs? So can no fountain yield salt water and fresh? Verse 13, who is the wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show you show out of a good conversation his works with meekness and wisdom. So we know we cannot um, tame the tongue. We can't. Um, but we can um, renew our minds in the word of God and not be conformed to this world. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Um, we can ask God to order our conversation aright so we can say the, say, see the salvation of God. Psalm chapter 50 verse 23. I hope this message has helped you, I really do. Um, and if you struggle with this, like a lot of us do, ask God to help you. His mercy and grace is there to help you with the power of His precious Holy Spirit, which is your friend, teacher, and companion, and helper, etc. Um, and uh, remember to brush and floss your teeth, too. Ha, ha, ha. Use mouthwash too. You don't want little tiny bacteria pooping in your mouth, neither. You don't want that neither. You don't want that kind of poop in your mouth either. So um, if you want to have Jesus and know and how he can help you with your mouth, then I'm going to read you a scripture for salvation to use so you can be, um, so you can, so, um, so you, so you can, be a hearer and and then and and then lead you in a well so you can be saved and, and then lead you and so that you can go to heaven so I can lead you in the in the way to go to heaven. Acts chapter two verse twenty one says verse twenty one and it shall come to pass that whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you call upon Jesus you will be saved. Um just say this prayer after me and you'll go to heaven. You'll have a place in heaven. You will never experience eternal damnation in hell with his weeping and gnashing teeth and fire and quenching and worms eating on your flesh and torment from demons and fire and flames. You will actually go to heaven if you live for God and repent and have a relationship with him and let him in your heart. I'm going to say a sinner's prayer. Say this after me and you'll go to heaven. If you say this, Put in the comments, let me know. I will tell you about Jesus, anything you need to know. I love you. I'll be your pastor. So I'm going to I'm gonna say a sinner's prayer. Repeat this after me. This is the most important prayer you'll ever make in your life, the most important decision you'll ever make. This tops everything. So say, say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. I believe you died on the cross for my sins, and God rose you from the dead three days later. I ask you to save me and forgive me of my sins as I repent right now. Deliver me from a mouthful of filth and cursing. Clean up my mouth. Clean up my life and save me and be my Lord and bring me to heaven with you. Thank you for saving me, Jesus. Amen. If you said that you're going to heaven now, I'm so happy for you. I hope you said that. Because if you need if you need Jesus, you want peace in your life, nothing else is going to give you peace. I've been... I've done this, I've done that. I've done all kinds of horrible things. This world has an offer and been out lonely and come out lonely and empty and never found what I was really looking for until I found Jesus. He gives me peace. He can give you peace too. If you said that now, he'll give you peace. But you in this world, the Bible says, um, um, be of, um, in this world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. In, him, in Jesus you'll have peace. Um, so um, go to a Bible-believing church now, even if you are a Christian. Even if, in, if you said the prayer, or even if you are a Christian, read Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John in the Bible to start out with so you can see the eyewitness accounts of Jesus and what he said when he was on this earth. Um, go, go to a Bible-believing church. Pray to God, the Father, in Jesus' name when you pray. Say, Father, come in Jesus' name. Read Matthew chapter 4 to know, the, know how to rebuke the devil in Jesus' name when he comes against you. Uh, expose the devil's lies with the word of God. Believe God's words over the devil's and even your own feelings. So um, just put in the comments if this blessed you. Give me gladly, give me a like and share and subscribe and press the bell. I'll be your pastor. Um, I preach on here. Try to do it every week. I've missed it sometimes, but I try to do it if I can. Um, I hope that you got something out of this because I'm doing this all for you. I love my subscribers, viewers, supporters. Even the dislikers and the and the and the bad root comments. I love you all anyways. I'm praying for you. 
and I love you all, and I hope that you'll stay with me and, and um, stay stay subscribed to me. And if you and if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe to me too. I'll be your pastor. I love preaching and singing and doing comedy and stuff on my channel. Check it out. Tell your family and friends about me. Check out my channel. Uh, do a lot of cool stuff, a lot of good stuff for the Lord and funny stuff. And so I hope this will bless you, and I hope that I want you to know that you are a blessing to me. And I thank you for staying with me and being faithful to me all these all this time. And uh, we're going to go on this journey together. Jesus loves you, and I too, and I love you so very much. And have a great day, and God bless. And you know what? This has been another exciting sermon from Super Sermon Day, man. I'm near as a bird's plane, or Super Sermon Day, man. Super Sermon Day, man, saying, I'm not a real superhero, but I play one on this video. Kind of like I'm not a real doctor, but I play one on TV. <laughs> Jesus loves you, and I too, and have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>